Hey gang, Doug here at Fitness Quest 10. Gonna go over four quick uh, mobility drills for the thoracic spine, okay? This first one using a foam roller. Real important to work on that thoracic spine, whether you're a desk jockey or a fighter, especially working on that punching power. So this first one I'm just gonna demo real quick. I'll get a couple reps in so you can see. Okay, start here. I like to give myself a hug so I just really open those scapulas up, open that back up. And I'm just gonna keep my butt on the ground and just let my head fall towards the ground, okay? Couple reps here. And I'll go up the spine. I'm always keeping my back, my butt down, and I'm just trying to fold over that foam roller. Okay, here. And then I'll just keep rolling down, get a couple reps at each segment. Okay. Then I'll go back to the top and then open up the chest. And then do the same thing. Okay. A couple reps here. Take a roll. Really try to open up. Helps open up that thoracic spine. So there's one, again, working flexion and extension. The second one that works flexion and extension, I'm gonna use a TRX. Similar movement that I'm doing, just from a different angle here. So, handles are about hip height, okay? I have a nice flat back, okay? So I'm not arched at all. And I'm really just letting my head and my chest fall down. And then coming back up. So I'm trying to open up and let my, my chest fall down towards the floor. So again, here, and then let it fall. So I, when I let my head and my chest drop, I feel that whole multifidi all the way up. Engage, and let that thoracic spine open up. Back up. Back up. All right. So that's two work flexion extension. The other two I'm going to show are more rotational. Okay. This first one, just hands and knees. And all I'm going to do, I call these thread the needles. Where I'm going to reach one hand through. Okay. And open it up towards the ceiling. So I'm getting rotation here. I'm keeping my hips, trying to keep my hips level. So all the rotation is coming from the thoracic spine. Okay. Reach through. Obviously, I do the other side. I usually do about six to eight reps per side. Okay. The last one I'm going to do is very similar, just getting it from a different point of view, from the ground. Okay. I like to bring the top leg up and put it on the foam roller. That's going to keep my pelvis neutral and neutralize my pelvis. What happens is similar movement that I just showed here. Now, I want to keep my knee in contact with the foam roller. If I don't, if I open up, then I'm getting those hips to open. Okay. I want to. We're focusing on that T-spine, so knee stays down. And I'm just opening as far as I can. I'm pretty tight, so ideally I'd like to get that hand to the floor. As you can see, I can't. A couple reps, I'll get there. Just let it open. Usually let that, just let gravity do its thing and open you up a little bit. Show one more. Open up. And again, I usually get about six to eight on each side of those.